Welcome back to Let's Duel, Might of Magic Duel of Champions. We're playing against Dark Side 9 here, and uh, we're using our Farias Sweep Attack based deck. And I think we're going to keep this uh, starting hand here. Yeah, definitely can't complain about that. Sudden turn. Overly concerned about Wolf Guard. Think I'd feel better getting the uh, Dark Assassin out. Got here. Uh, interesting choice with uh, uh, preemptive strike. Uh, we'll go ahead and get the Hellfire Cerberus out here. It does attack anywhere, which is uh, pretty useful. I mean, we'll just keep that Dark Assassin going. Okay, so now we got ourselves a little bit of a party here. And what we're going to do is give sweep attack to our dark assassin. And have his ability not do anything for us. So that was a fairly major misstep there. Um, let's see how this goes. Start trying to pull this back a little bit here. Just uh, pick away at uh, at that Sun Rider a bit. We'll see how he chooses to deal with the uh, Void Rape. Just gonna eat the damage. And follows that up 
Uh, probably a waste of his Pow Death Seeker. So I'm pretty uh, pleased about that at the very least. Okay, so we have the uh, Gated Demon and we have uh, Juggernaut here. Or we could go with uh, Ravager Gated Demon. Yeah, we'll go Ravager. Increase Destiny. Gated Demon. So far, definitely not pleased with her uh, losses. I would have liked to uh, have frenzied the uh, Sunrider, and that might be a possibility in the other next time. Okay, so uh, we'll increase our magic here. And uh, we'll put our Juggernaut into play. And we'll do it We'll play the uh, little top row and end the turn. Not really expecting any big hits here. I think he'll probably just choose to. Uh, uh, try to savor his position a little bit here. to use the uh, Lilum to uh, uh, suck out a lightning bolt and uh, waste a creature's attack I'm fairly happy about. This turn we're going to clear out the Sunrider with Frenzy. We're going to clear out the Imperial Guard, the Wolf Rider, and his Wild Griffin. Probably should have held on to that. That was stupid. Oh, well.
Yeah, that was another misplay. I should have held down to that, forced him to discard two, so that I would have been able to give my uh, uh, plus two to the uh, big spinner there. Almost think I might just eat the uh, uh, the damage on um, on the juggernaut. The wolf guard is pretty annoying, but uh, I'm not sure if it's worth it. Nothing here really helps us that much. And I'm hesitant to, to pull out the uh, the lacerator at the moment. We got the frenzy that we were looking for. So that uh, opens up a wide variety of action for us. Um, we are, I don't know if this will trigger y'all's breath. If it does, that'll be uh, uh, glorious. Okay, so that worked out pretty good. And we'll just end the turn. Uh, Y'all's breath is going to be uh, pretty annoying for us. Triangated Demon doesn't help us much either. That, however, does help us. Puts us one step closer to uh, wiping out that, uh, that griffin. Okay, if he wants to play the uh, the rewind game, we can certainly do that. Okay. So, We're going to go ahead and uh, give Sweep Attack to our Fate Bender here. Play our uh, Demented. Play our Gated Demon. And I think I'm just going to uh, put uh, Soul Fire on. Nah, yeah. We'll hold off on that.
Another frenzy puts us in an excellent position to take out that griffin. I think uh, this turn coming up, we'll actually have the opportunity to uh, uh, damage uh, his uh, hero directly. And we want to save Altar of Destruction just because uh, it's a Haven deck and once they fall below 5 HP, they have several cards they can use to uh, regenerate a little bit, so... Don't really want to be messing with that. Hey, Hell's breath, breath again. Fortunately, nothing we can really do about that. Uh, we'll go... You know what? We'll increase our might here. We'll go Lacerator. Juggernaut. Don't really want to lose the Fate Bender, so I can move move it. So I will. And we'll just end the turn. I think he's starting to try to uh, run down my deck. And of course, he's running with a fairly substantial uh, mill deck here. He's really getting value out of that uh, Wolf Rider. I'm sorry, Wolf Guard. Less concerned about the Radiant Glory. Okay, let's see what we got here. Lurker in the dark, uh, fairly good for blocking up there. Well, if he wants to pull back the gate of demons, he can. Definitely uh, play the last raider here. And we'll see what we get with an additional card draw. So Breeder Mother with uh, Area Blast 1. Yeah, I can get behind that. You know what? I've had it with that wolf card. I'm just gonna kill it.
So we should be able to do a fair bit of damage to our area blast along. Blazing Glory unable to attack. Okay, so no, it's no surprise it's going to move it there. Okay, well, he's certainly making this easy for me here. And uh, let's see how we're going to do this. We're going to move our last raider. We're going to area blast. Gonna attack with our juggernaut. We're going to play Gated Demon to soak up some damage. We're going to use Frenzy here. We're going to draw a card that we're unable to play. We may uh, use that next turn. We'll use that to force any uh, creatures to be discarded. And we'll see how he's going to roll here. Obviously, he's going to kill the Gated Demon. Rewinds the uh, best play he's got right now. Not too concerned. Okay, so that's Sand Elemental only going to help me here. But uh, first, let's see how we're going to do this. Going to increase our might. Going to put the uh, Pit Fiend out here. I'm gonna put the breather, Breeder Mother out here. I'm just gonna do some damage here. And we'll just, uh, we'll do 
do some damage here with it. That way, that uh, sand elemental is ready to go. If he hailstorms to kill Lurker in the dark, uh, good on him because that's going to allow us to hailstorm to kill the elemental next turn. If he doesn't have any big plays, I think uh, we'll have this in here. So this is looking fairly uh, promising for us. Okay, so here's how we're going to do this. We're going to give a sweep attack to our Juggernaut. And uh, we're going to lose him. We are going to... You know what? Is there an opportunity here? I want to take advantage of it. I guess we'll just see what else he's got coming for us. So all we need to do is get uh, one damage in, and we'll be good to go. Some problems now, he's going to have uh, some fairly good card draw with uh, the Stone of Enlightenment. He's going to start creeping up on us, uh, card draw-wise. And of course, that uh, rewind is starting to get a little bit on my nerves here. Increase your destiny, whatever. <laughs> okay. We just gotta get one damage in. Of 
course, has way more card draw than us now. out all the stops with uh, that one. Okay, so uh, we'll play the uh, Demented here. Just end the turn. So all we have to do get one that uh, get that one damage through. The two sweep attack creatures may make that possible. I think we've expended all our frenzies, so we're not going to be able to uh, rely on that. So he's pulling something out of his graveyard here. Probably the uh, Crusader Champion. stops now. Okay, we'll see what he's got here. So just one damage.
see. Another rewind. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. So, uh, we'll just take him out with, uh, our towers here, or, uh, sorry, altars. And there we go. That was a pretty, uh, pretty close game. Uh, fairly intense one. I'm glad we, uh, pulled it out there at the end. So, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you join me in the next episode.